Hello and welcome again to digitalcameratutorials.com. This particular lesson is one of the most important ones you'll learn. It's how to resize your photographs before you email them to other people or resizing your photographs in order to put them on a website page. Uh, normal photographs that are taken would normally be between a megabyte and two megabytes in size. You need to reduce them to under 100 kilobytes in size in order to have them ready for emailing or putting on the web. So you're going to need an image editing package, something like PaintShop Pro or Adobe Photoshop or PrintShop or one of those types of packages. So we open PaintShop Pro. We're going to browse to some of our photos. So we go File and Browse. This will open the last set of photos that I was using. And there's a photo here, which is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to use the family portrait as an example of how to resize. So at the moment, this is a full size photo. It's about a megabyte and a half in size, which is a huge amount of information to be emailing to somebody, especially when they're just going to look at the photo. So we need to resize this so that they can uh, view it at a much smaller size and also it won't take as long to, uh, to send or to receive. So we go to image and resize. Now it doesn't really matter what package you're using, uh, they will all offer you this same option of image and resizing. Uh, and they give you a number of different ways to resize. You can resize by print size, we can resize by percentage of the original, or we can actually resize according to the pixel size. Now the pixel size is the, is the best way when, it, when we're talking about emailing. We would like this to be about 600 by 450 in size. At the moment it's 2534 pixels in width and 1986 pixels in height. Now if I click in that, it's going to offer me what I have always looked for, which is 600 by, by 450. So whenever I am um, sending, I always resize to 600 by 450. So I could actually change that to 500 by something else. It will automatically resize the height for me. So the width to be approximately 600, the height to be around 450, 470 is what it's offering me here. And then I go OK to that. As you can see, the picture has shrunk quite significantly. Now, this is the original family portrait. I, if I resize, if I save that now, if I go File and save that, the original will be gone and it'll be overwritten by this new one. So I don't want to do that. I want to File and Save As. So that will offer me now, it tells me, do I want to resize this and call it by the same name? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in here I'm going to say Family Portrait portrait 07 and I'm just going to put the email tag on the end of that and now I save. So now as you can see a second copy has appeared. One is the larger one, one is the smaller one. So I'm going to close this now and close Pen, uh, PenShop Pro. It has done the job that I want to do. I'm going to go to the My Pictures folder and I'm going to go into that Cards folder that I was working on and I'm going to change the view here. So view, and instead of thumbnails, where I can see the two of them, I want to see the details. So I'm clicking on details, and it tells me that Family Portrait 07 is 401 kilobytes in size, whereas Family Portrait email version is 36 kilobytes in size. 36 kilobytes is exactly what I was looking for. Anything under 100 is very good, so you're all set. That can now be emailed to somebody, and it won't take forever to bring in, and it will be a lovely size for them to view. Um, as you can see from the thumbnails, you wouldn't know that one was not uh, was any different from the other. So we'll email the email size one here and then we're all set. DigitalCameraTutorials.com